Beloved Masters, let us join together during this sacred time as we share our hopes, dreams, and aspirations for the future. Yes, we also have great hopes and visions of what miracles will be wrought by you and for you, the star seed of planet Earth. Close your eyes for a moment and breathe deeply as you settle your awareness into your sacred heart center. Now envision, if you will, that in this timeless moment, we are all coming together to rejoice, remember, and re-establish our divine relationship, one with another. See within your mind's eye, and feel the emotions of recognition well up from within your sacred heart, as your vast spiritual family, past, present and future, come forth to greet you. Watch as shining facets of our Father or Mother God, and all the shining, radiant beings from throughout this sub-universe, down to the tiniest elemental beings, present themselves in their magnificent splendor, as they surge forth to walk amongst you. There are no limitations here, no one is excluded, for in this great gathering in the higher dimensions there is room for all every soul who has ever incarnated on earth is present in his or her etheric bodily form, as well as all the precious beings from throughout this solar system and galaxy. You see, it is a grand reunion reminiscent of the time when you all gathered in celebration before beginning your many long sojourns into the physical world, on planet Earth. Have no doubt, beloveds, that you are welcome and that you belong at this gathering. We see you in all your glorious radiance your unique, auric color pattern shines forth for all to see, and the sweet tones of your special vibratory harmonics your personal soul song add to the celestial music of the spheres, blending and merging in oneness. You naturally migrate to those who radiate the same colors and harmonics as you those whose celestial tones blend perfectly with yours, for these are your dearest and closest soul companions, from whom you were separated so long ago. Let your mind wander a while, what new insights come to mind, what words of wisdom surge forth, what do you remember that is of great importance to you? Allow the possibility to enter your consciousness that henceforth, you will have access to new information, advanced thought patterns, creative ideas, and wisdom, which have been stored in light packets within your sacred mind waiting to be ignited during these important and momentous times. As you blend and flow together, merging with group after group, you will gain the benefit of their experiences and particular insights, as well as offering your own wisdom to them. See yourselves sitting amongst the beloved masters who are dearest to your heart, as they surround you in love and compassion, and suffuse your auric field with their radiance. Each in turn offers their special attributes, truth, faith and protection, clear perception and illumination, gratitude and forbearance, clarity and humility, concentration and dedication, peace and tranquility, and transmutation and purification, to mention only a few. These are just some of the attributes and qualities of the seven rays of your solar system that we have spoken of so often. Which of these attributes do you lack? What is your weakness in spirit? Again, turn inward and honestly take an inventory of your strengths and weaknesses no judgment, dear hearts just observe. We are offering you a grand opportunity to tap into the divine stream of God light, the source from which all blessings flow. Take all you can contain at this time, however, we ask you to please use what you take to assist others to awaken and reclaim their birthright. It is our greatest desire that all on earth awaken and remember the spark of the divine that each soul carries within. It is vitally important that you remove the barriers, boundaries and restrictions which separate you, one from another. We envision you, each and every one, healing your body, mind and soul and returning to the sanctity and harmony of spirit. We see your earth returning to its pristine beauty once again with sparkling, clear waters, fresh, pure air and rich, fertile soil. We will encourage and assist any and everyone who is willing to nurture and care for the animal and nature kingdom, as you remember that you were given stewardship of these great gifts of creation. We offer guidance, direction and assistance to you each time you move to a higher level of awareness and step out into the unknown. We give comfort and nurture you as you release many things in your lives that you hold dear. We assist you to the maximum that sacred universal law permits in your endeavors to overcome your shortcomings and imbalances. We do not see your imperfections, beloveds, only your radiance and its intensity. 
we watch as you timidly and then sometimes boldly reach inward and upward toward the higher dimensional frequencies, as you glimpse and feel, possibly only for a moment, the wondrous joy of the oneness. As those of you who have experienced this miracle, you know that you will never be the same you will ever yearn to return to that state of bliss. You are being pushed to the limits of your physical endurance as you release old energy encodings which are not for your highest good, as you, through conscious or unconscious agreement, accelerate the mutation process. You are leaving your animalistic instinctual nature behind, you are refining and releasing your human negative impulses, addictions and limitations as you integrate all aspects of your beingness into a fully aware self-master of the physical plane. Once again, you are becoming spiritual beings of light in garments of human flesh. Before you began your great adventure so many eons ago, you left the greater portion of your garments of light in the safe keeping of your I am presence, just as you allowed us to shield from your memory much of your true identity. You agreed to take only a portion of your talents and wisdom with you into each incarnation, storing the remainder within the heart core of your God Self. You eagerly and joyfully participated as a co-creator in the great drama that unfolded on planet Earth over the many eons of time, as you experimented and experienced all the rich diversity that the material world had to offer. But as the Earth and humanity sank into the denser frequency patterns of light and shadow of the lower fourth and the third dimensions, your lives became so painful and stressful that you moved into resentment, fear, anger, and a sense of separation, and there you have remained for these many thousands of years. But that time is now drawing to a close as the shackles of fear and limitation fall away, and each of you boldly moves through the fog of illusion into the shining light of truth and self-awareness. Become an observer from a higher vantage point as your ancient memories are transformed into light, beloveds, as we heal and weave the past anew. No matter the appearances or the circumstances, whether the lowest or the highest, each of you is a beautiful, unique spark of God, a blessed creation. You are a refracted ray of light sent forth from one of the great rays of expression, which radiated from the God-mind in order for our Father or Mother God to experience and express more of their ever-unfolding uniqueness. This is the magic and wonder of your long earthly sojourn the Supreme Creator expressing and experiencing through you, a blessed spark of itself. Now do you remember? All aspects of creation on your earth are awakening, the mineral and animal kingdoms, as well as the divic and elemental kingdoms, and they are assuming their proper roles again as the guardians and caretakers of the nature kingdom. The whales and dolphins, who are the record keepers for the history of planet Earth, and the cosmic telepathic communicators between Earth and this galaxy, are desirous of re-establishing their relationship with humanity. You have forgotten, however, they have not. They have willingly and lovingly served humanity down through the ages, only to be killed and maimed. Please help to stop this abomination, beloveds. The dolphins and whales resonate to the element of water, and therefore are very conscious of your emotional frequency patterns. They have suffered along with you down through the ages. Many blessed souls have blended their energies with these beautiful beings, and are endeavoring to make you aware of how precious and important they are in the complex scheme of evolution. The call has gone forth for those of you who remember, those of you who were there in the beginning to reunite in the physical in order to awaken to your own magnificence and heritage, and to reconnect with your brothers and sisters, the whales and dolphins. There is a reunion in the higher realms, but just as important, there are many grand reunions taking place on your planet. You are being reunited with many precious members of your soul family, some of your intimate soul mates, and groups with whom you have journeyed from the beginning of time and with whom you have had many wondrous experiences. Know that these reunions are gifts that you have earned, an opportunity to share, support and enjoy the harmony and beauty of your compatible soul companions. Will you, from this day forward, endeavor to sense our presence more fully in your everyday life? As you do so and give us permission, we can take a more active role in assisting you over the times of uncertainty, sadness and stress. As you strive for harmony, we can project more loving energy toward you and place a buffer of protection around you. Will you stop for a moment before berating yourselves or another and think, how would a filter of loving energy change this situation? What is the good in this event and how can I realize the highest outcome? 
Give the gift of love and compassion, beloveds not more material gifts. Make gratitude and thanksgiving an integral part of your everyday thought habits. Look for the spark of spirit in the eyes of those you meet and acknowledge that spark with a smile or kind word. Move out of isolation and separatism into an ever-expanding sense of unity and oneness with others. You will not be so quick to judge or criticize when you realize they came from the same source they are another precious facet of the divine. Let us now address the issue of New Age philosophies versus religious philosophies, so that you may come to a better understanding of what spirituality is and is not. There are much fear, resentment, and criticism among those who are followers of a particular established religious philosophy and those who embrace the so-called New Age concepts. Unfortunately, religious beliefs have lead to isolation and separatism instead of unity, and there have been conflicts and war down through the ages in the name of God or a certain religious belief. The Creator does not embrace, support or condemn any one religion. All beings are sacred and blessed in the sight of our Father or Mother God, and there are many paths that lead back into the oneness. A person attuned to their higher self knows that there are beauty and truth in all religions, but they also are aware that spirituality is not about dogma, ethical codes, or a certain rigid morality. Spirituality transcends all religions and connects each soul to their own divine truth. Spirituality loves and embraces life, and does not condemn or reject anyone. Spirit functions within the framework of sacred universal laws and these are unchanging. And the core of this law is love love of self and love for all God's creations. Spirituality is not about being psychic, such as inner seeing, clairvoyance, and inner hearing, clairaudience, or telepathic abilities. These abilities are your natural birthright, you have just forgotten and these abilities have atrophied from non-use. Your extrasensory perception will return naturally as you clear the static and negative energy patterns from your auric field and reconnect to your spirit self. You can be a religious human being and not be spiritual, but you cannot truly be spiritual if you are not willing to embrace the good in every religion and every person, honoring and allowing each one to express their spirituality in their own unique way. You will see the spark of the divine in everyone and everything and you will incorporate and manifest within yourself all the wondrous attributes of the Creator as you become a living example for others to emulate. As you gradually attune to your I Am Presence, through each higher level of your Oversoul Self, you will integrate more of the essence of our Father or Mother God. Then is when your true Divine Self will begin to radiate forth in all its glory. It is happening now, beloveds. You see and sense it in yourself and in many of those around you, as your numbers grow by leaps and bounds. Spirit walks the earth, beloveds, and it is you. Know that you are loved beyond measure, I am Archangel Michael.